welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashlyn, if you do not know me, and I'm going to be a sophomore at Fordham University this fall, which is crazy because the summer's already halfway done. I wanted to film a video like this in the beginning of the summer, but honestly, time's just been flying by. But I wanted to come on and start giving a little bit of advice to all the freshmen that are starting to prepare for college. Starting. Just kidding, probably halfway prepared by this point, or fully prepared, because I remember back last summer, I was like, literally got all my stuff in July, like, I was so far ahead. But if you're not prepared and you're just getting started now, don't worry either. No matter what, you're gonna be fine. I'm just here to give you my tips of everything that I have learned in my first year of being a freshman at Fordham University in the Bronx, New York. So obviously I have a little bit of a different input than what some of my friends would have, but I also have a lot of friends that go to schools like Penn State, some southern schools, way different energy than obviously school in New York City. So I do have some different viewpoints that I know of that I just want to share with you guys to get you ready for what's going to be honestly the best year of your life. Freshman year was honestly the best and I'm just so excited to give you a little bit of my input. So grab a coffee, sit back, relax. I'll literally show you this is we're just chilling. I just have my little Fordham sweatshirt on and my little, we'll jump up on the chair, my little I Heart New York boxers. So we're just relaxing. We're having a good time. Okay, let's get on into this thing. Well, we're going to get started by talking about when we first arrived to college and a little bit of my tips that I learned last year. So basically prior to getting to college, you have to remember that like you're starting off on a clean slate. You can be whoever you want to be. There is no baggage from high school, unless you're like going to a college with everyone from your high school, but like I doubt it, like you'll be good. And even if you are going to a college with a bunch of people from your high school, there's gonna be thousands of other kids there that have no clue who you are. So keep an open mind, be whoever you want to be, do what you want to do and remember like, your own grass like obviously you're gonna be surrounded by all these people but my mom has always said this you have to worry about yourself worry about your own grass don't worry about other people's grass and do what's gonna be best for you so when I first arrived to college basically I was obviously so nervous I thought I was gonna be so homesick I thought I was gonna be literally like not able to find friends like everything was just really freaking me out but the thing that really helped me a lot prior to getting there was following a bunch of people on Instagram and from the Facebook groups and basically anyone that you saw online that's going to your school that looks like they might have similar interests to you. Obviously, it's not like you're going to be like best friends when you get there if you just follow them on Instagram. It's just it's going to give you some familiar faces that when you're out, you can be like, hey, what, I think I follow you on Instagram. And then kind of just get the conversation started, which honestly works out so well because sometimes like the most awkward part to getting to meet someone is starting the conversation off. And the biggest thing that I've learned is like just being like, oh my God, I follow you on Instagram. Don't close your doors when you're moving in and on the first like whole week. Having your doors open just like is the biggest way to be like, I want to meet people. Come to my room, come meet me. It is the easiest way to get to meet people, especially on your dorm floor and just throughout your dorm because it just shows that you're like open. Like open door is like basically symbolizing that you're open to new relationships and new friendships at Fordham, at your schools. That was honestly the biggest two things that got me through my like first day at college. The next thing that is super helpful is self-compassion. So. If you don't know what self-compassion is, it's basically just giving yourself a pat on the back for even just being at college, putting in the work to try to make new friends. This is the first time in your life that you're in a new location without your parents, surrounded by a bunch of people your own age and older, and you have literally the world at your fingertips and no parental guidance for the first time ever. Obviously that's scary. Obviously it's gonna take some time to get used to. Literally, you can't worry about that. You just have to be proud of yourself for how far you even came to get to where you are. Like, I just remember, like, the first night, I literally, like, cried myself to bed, which is so normal. But I was just in my room crying on the first night um, after my parents had just left. My parents had just left. I was in my room by myself because I was there for an early program. My roommate wasn't there yet. I just remember sitting in there being like, I am, like, by myself. I am alone. And after that first night of like crying myself to sleep, after that first night, I was like, no more. We're gonna, tomorrow, we're gonna make things different. We're gonna meet people. We're gonna go out. We're gonna 
have a good time start off the college experience strong because i told myself it's okay to cry you can obviously cry it's such a normal emotion it's such a normal thing you don't want to hold your tears in so the fact of the matter is everyone's going through the same experience everybody's missing their parents everyone's confused everyone's trying to meet a million people everybody's trying to put themselves out there so you just have to remember everyone's going through the same exact thing as you and that they're probably dealing with the same exact things that you're dealing with, but just no one's talking about it. It's like the elephant in the room that everybody has, but no one's saying anything. Trust me, you're good. Everything's going to be fine. And honestly, like the first week is where just things are going to be the most hecticness. I've noticed that colleges do a really good job at the first week keeping you super busy, super preoccupied. So that way you have no time to think and no time to be stressed and missing your family because I remember when I first got there as soon as I got moved into my room like my parents were having to be like pushed off they're like orientation starts in five minutes I remember like I hadn't eaten my mom was like trying to get me to eat I was like no I need to like say bye to you so they push thing they make sure that you are busy by having that busyness in place it basically gets you not able to get upset and be by yourself they are throwing you in full force to meeting people, starting to get associated with the campus. Might be a little stressful, but I'm telling you, it's gonna help you out so much in the end. Now that we got past some of my very beginning into college steps of just how I got past like the first week or so, we're gonna get into 15 tips that I have for just all over freshman year stuff. Number one, do not bring your whole closet. I made this mistake. If you watch the video that I'll put in my bio because it's a funny one i basically packed my entire closet last year for college don't know why i genuinely thought i think it was like an anxiousness thing in me that i was like if i leave this one piece of clothing behind that has a sentimental value to me i'm gonna be screwed don't bring it don't bring it if you have the access of your parents coming to visit you for like parents weekend which is in the first few weeks or even like when you get home for like thanksgiving like if you're at a school where the weather changes keep the clothing that doesn't match that season at home you do not have the room for it this year especially i'm gonna bring only like shorts t-shirts all that stuff at the beginning of the year and then when parents weekend hits in like september october that's when i'll like ask them to bring like my fall stuff don't be afraid of the ad drop period i'm telling you it is a life saver a lot of people don't like that time period because it's like like oh my god like what if i make the wrong choice dropping this class what if i make the wrong choice switching to this class instead no it genuinely helped me out so much when you first get to school please 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 i'm begging you check your room for mold dust any air problems anything that can lead to like sickness that basically you should maybe be moved to a different room or have someone like actually like have an actual like expert maybe like come and clean it because personally for me i have never been sick the amount that i've been sick this whole school year um all my friends know i've taken like eight rounds of like sinus infection medicine i have been my voice is forever altered because my sinuses are so messed up i'm going to see like an allergist all that stuff to avoid that please 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 just check for anything that could lead to like sickness in your room and also bring clorox wipes bring febreze along with bringing the clorox wipes and stuff i'd also recommend bringing steripods for your health because they basically are like toothbrush covers that also are like cleaners and keep your toothbrush from getting like germs and bacteria on it which i think are so helpful because i've always used them and they're they just work so well um, Tums chewables because sometimes the food on campus Well, I'm just gonna flat out say if you can afford them the food on campus We all know it's not good But you know what we can find some options, but a lot of times Tums chewables are the way to go Also bring a laundry backpack those things are so helpful, especially if you're on one of the top floors in your dorm it Saves you so much time just putting it on as a backpack compared to lugging all your stuff down the hallway It's so irritating um the out from under tops from urban is something i'm just gonna throw in there as a little random because those things you can wear on any occasion i've worn them to class i've worn them out they just can be styled in so many different ways i've worn them as like pajamas like they're just so comfy and so cute and also you don't have to wear a bra with them next piece of advice is it is so so normal for the honeymoon stage to end if you don't know what that means basically first semester can go a few different ways 
sometimes it's the hardest semester for people because the adjustment period and getting used to being there and all that stuff but also the other thing is it's also sometimes labeled as the honeymoon phase because basically everyone is trying to make the most friends possible everybody is trying to put themselves out there join so many different clubs be a part of so many different things but like anything things can always have bumps in the road which for me a lot of those bumps kind of hit around second semester um which it's inevitable things always change you're you're personally changing other people are personally changing your interests are changing and there's nothing you can really do about that but sometimes that leads to the honeymoon phase coming to an end which is totally normal i've talked to so many people about it and it's such a normal thing to happen you just have to remember that you are at the right place you are there at the right time and you have to do what's best for you and make the decisions that are going to get you to where you end up wanting to be someday because college is honestly just the main stepping point to getting you to the rest of your life and your career and your 20s which is like the best time period of your life apparently haven't reached there yet and keep doing what's best for you and even though things might feel like everything's kind of falling apart sometimes it isn't it's normal you're just at one of those little bumps going along with that uh one of my friends gave me the biggest tip of like advice that is basically the best thing i can share is when it comes to college you need to find a few people that you can fully rely on which obviously like it's a good thing in high school to have people to rely on too but it's just so different in college because you don't have your parents there for advice you don't have your parents there to take care of you it's just so nice to have a few people in your life that you can count on this is for the people that know what they want to do in college so i went into college knowing i wanted to do communications and knowing i wanted to do stuff with the media uh but for a school like fordham if you're not in the gabelli business school sometimes it's a little hard to form the connections and get the help you need for starting to build like your linkedin your resumes because Gabelli kids get like a class that kind of sets that up for them but kids in rose hill so have to figure it out on their own but the biggest thing that i've learned that has helped with that is two things number one is trying to find mentors i took one communication class my first semester and my professor end up being one of my biggest mentors this year she's helped me so much and it all just comes down to trying to build connections and networking so just by talking to her and getting things figured out like i found a career counselor that's been so helpful for me and i've had her to help me out as well and help me figure out what communications classes to take but the other step that goes along with that which is how i got her as a mentor is build a connection with your professors go along with the class stuff find at least one person in your class that you can get their phone number their snapchat we're gonna do like a speed round real quick because there's a few things that are just really fast that i just want to spit out don't go home the first few weeks make your linkedin now bring a pair of shoes that you can trash have a two truths and a lie ready for orientation week or like a fun fact about yourself do not bring a white rug to college invest in some ugg slippers avoid 830s freshman year it's a little hard to avoid the 830s but they're just so bad. Get an Amazon Prime account. Trucker hats are gonna be your best friend. Last but not least, just have fun. Honestly, this is supposed to be the best time of your life. And the amount of opportunities college provides is immaculate and the amount of opportunities in different directions you can go are vast. So go in with a good mindset, have a good time. Obviously acknowledge that things are sometimes gonna be hard, but also acknowledge that you're gonna have some fun scenarios within the next four years and you're gonna make the best memories with some of the best people so look forward to it that's the best thing i can say from this whole video is look forward to freshman year don't be afraid have a good time that is all i have to tell you guys for today just get excited just get so excited and if you're gonna be a freshman at fordham see you at orientation love you guys the most see you next time Oh